Stop sharing. Hey, I'm going to do a really quick video on how to upload locations in bulk with my background music presented by Justin. So I want to make sure I get everybody who lives in this location and this particular agent wants to focus on certain zip codes due to the demographics that he knows um, are in those zip codes. So he sent me a list um, via a text. I forward it to if you don't use this, this is really handy, especially if you have um, an iPhone, but you're using a PC. Um, I use the Facebook Messenger Chrome extension. That's what this M stands for. So I'm able to forward my text and it's an easy way to get a lot of stuff into your computer if you don't have um, a Mac. So I copied and pasted my list of, um, I don't wanna click on it because I'm embarrassed to show you who my friends are, but I copied and pasted that list of zip codes. So now I just simply go into this little box underneath the map where you normally like might pick a city and you click on add locations in bulk. Then you drop down this box, select postal codes, don't know why they call it that instead of zip codes. If they do, click in there. It's going to highlight it, right, and paste your zips. And you can have as many as you want. This has about a dozen or so, it looks like. And then hit match location. It's going to pull up the cities, states, and such. I don't know any of these places. I'm just going off what the agent has sent me. Um, I always keep a record of that in case someone would tell me that I did the wrong thing because um, I would have no idea how to choose these. This is an oddball one way over here. And this is how you know um, as these pins that are dropped. If you scroll up and down on the zips, then you'll know which one it is. Justin's training for his uh, Motley Crew opening act at Bush Stadium in the summer. Um, but if you roll over the top of these zips, you can see the check marks on the pins light up. So, like, I'm looking for this one that's way over here, squirreled out, because I'm definitely going to delete it. Um, and here's, if you noticed, I don't know if you noticed or not, this did not change when I deleted that. When you upload zips in bulk, this, I wouldn't trust this audience size. I could probably delete three or four of these and that wouldn't change. Um, I've just learned there's, and this is a lot of area for there not to be more than 15,000. The other thing I would do for this person is I would check from top to bottom. So I don't know what zip code that is, 29592. So I'm going to write it down and then I'm going to find the most Southern one. That would be 29440, and I'm going to write that one down. That was me pausing, writing them down. And then I'm going to open up a Google tab, and I'm going to search those two. So I got 29592, and then that tells me that is Sellers, South Carolina. Okay, I'm going to write that down so I don't forget, because I would. And then I'm going to type in my other one, which was 29440. And that tells me that is Georgetown County, South Carolina. I don't even know. I'm just going to, it says Georgetown here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is do a Google search. Georgetown, South Carolina to Sellers, South Carolina. I just want to see the distance. So it's 71 miles. So I probably would go um, pull off the top one to just tighten that up. I don't think they want that far of a range. I could ask them, but I'm not, just because you give people options and they'll drive you freaking bonkers. Mm, you know what, I shouldn't have, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pull off this bottom one because it is actually pretty far south of the rest of them and put that other one back. So I'm getting rid of 29440 and I'm gonna add back in 29592. Now, I can add that one back in. I don't have to do like upload in bulk. So that tightens it up. I think that would probably be okay with them. So I still have that one to 29554. Let's see what that is. This might seem really boring to you, but um, like when you get into doing things for people, so that is, I can't even pronounce that. Yohana, yo mama, Yohana. Johanna, your mama. Okay, so I'm going to start that one. Y-A-U-H-A-N-N-A-H-S-C-2. What was the other one? Sellers? Two. Right here. Two. Nine, five, nine, two. Yeah, two, nine, five, nine, two. <clears throat> Two nine five nine two. 
I'm going to double check it. I didn't write the thing city next to it. 292. That is sellers. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So I'm going to check Johanna, South Carolina. To sellers, South Carolina. I got 60 miles. So I'm going to tell them that they're 60 miles distance from them. They're just going to have to deal with it. That's where they want to run. The only other thing I could do is drop out this. I could get rid of Johanna. And that really drives this down. <clears throat> I'm going to go with that. See what happens. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's just a quick tip. I do this stuff all the time when people are looking for things in specific locations. The biggest thing you got to watch when using zips, um, sometimes it doesn't bother it, but sometimes it really increases ad cost. I don't know why. So the, I place a $300 budget on this and um, hope to get leads under 20 bucks. That would be my hopes. All right. Uh, my videos aren't as cool and fancy because I don't have all of Justin's awesome equipment. It's actually sitting about 10 feet away from me, but I'm too lazy to get up and walk over there and do this video. That's how much I care. Love you.